going to be looking right now at how to change a battery on a standby generic generator. Step number one, pretty straightforward. We got to open it up, right? Lift the, lift the lid up, take the door off. We're ultimately trying to get to this part of the generator. This is where the battery is located. To get there, there are three silver little screws. One here, here, and one down here. To take those off, we're gonna need a couple different tools overall. Number one, an Allen wrench. Find one that fits the screw holes. Next, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, excuse me, a 13 millimeter wrench for the uh, battery post terminals. First thing you wanna actually do is make sure the unit is off. Just go ahead and hit this red button here to make sure it is off. If you have a different model generator, there should always be some kind of off button. So hit it off. Extra little check is to hit this breaker, turn that to off. Then open up this flappy here, take the fuse out for the battery, put that guy to the side. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take off these screws that we mentioned. Once those screws are out, we can lift the guy up, move it to the side. All right. Now you can come down and see the, where the battery is actually located. Battery's to the right side underneath, tucked in there. So what we're gonna do is pop this guy out of here. Some batteries have a little handle, some don't. However it takes to get it out, all you really have to do is pull on it a little bit and pop the guy out. Most of the time the leads are long enough so you can kind of set it to the side. Then we're going to take that 13 millimeter wrench that I mentioned. A lot of times you should have the cover here for the positive battery post terminal. Now there is an order in which you are supposed to take these off. To make sure you do that properly, read the sticker. Make sure that you do the correct ones in the correct order. In this case, we are going to double check this to avoid damage to the control system. Remove control panel fuse, which we did. Never reverse the polarity. So always make sure that your red goes on your positive and your black goes on your negative to make sure that you have the battery uh, powering the system properly, right? So what else does this say? Remove the negative battery cable first and connect it last. So what this is saying is the black wire, we want to remove that one first. So I'm going to get the handle up out of the way here so I can attach this here. And this is the wrong size. So in my pocket, I have the right size. There we go. So we're going to pop this guy off. Just put it to the side. It's not going to hurt anything. It's okay. It can be sitting there. You're not going to have any problems. Next, I'm going to turn this to make sure I get it to this side easier. Pop this one off. I like to tuck it up in here, even though it's not going to cause any harm to actually touch the other one. I just like to move it. On the battery itself, if you take a look at it, this specific battery has a year and date on it. This battery is from December of 2017. You can see that by looking at this little sticker. Not every single generator or battery is going to have that sticker. These batteries are purchasable from any local auto parts store, such as AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto Parts, any of those kinds of stores should be able to carry this kind of battery. For a unit such as this, you're going to be looking at a Group 26 battery. Uh, the, it could be 26, 26R, either of those doesn't really matter. All that really matters with that R is that the positive and negative are reversed. Okay, So the 26 group is what you want. The R part doesn't matter. After that, you want to make sure you have a 550 
or more cold cranking amp battery, especially if you're in a colder climate. The higher you can get out of your Group 26 battery, the more power the battery is going to have, which means it'll last longer and be more reliable as it starts to storm outside when the freezing cold temperatures. All right, so once we grab the battery, uh, a new battery to put into the system, we do the same thing in reverse, right? So for this quick example, I'm just going to grab this same battery. We're going to grab it, put it back over here. Identify which one is positive and which one is negative. On our battery here, there is a little minus symbol and a little plus symbol. So plus and minus, negative, positive, negative, black, positive, red, right? So if we remember, the sticker that we read says to reconnect the negative last. So we're going to connect the positive first. So in this case, we're going to wiggle this on here. And there is, an, uh, there is a specific direction of which way you want to put it. If you look at the shape of this thing, there is a bigger bottom to it and a skinnier top to it, right? So the bigger bottom part goes on the bottom. Gives it the best surface area, the best grip around the battery. So what I'm going to do, give myself a little space so I can turn this down. You'll notice the gap here closes in to squeeze together now once i do this i'll be able to lift the battery with that cable you do not want to over tighten the battery if you over tighten that you can actually ruin the fitting that clamps onto the battery then when you go to change the battery in the future you have a big problem you have to go get new terminals from the store and that's not a good thing so I'm going to finish connecting with the negative side, hold it on there, make sure the wrench is going the correct direction. Good and tight, lifts up a little bit, not too snug, but snug enough. Then tuck it back in. Now you've got a new battery replacement in the system. After that, put the case back together, put everything back the way it was, put it back in automatic, and you'll be ready to go.